Game of the Week. Brandon J.C.'s Weeknights on 33 WYTV News. I'm Wendy Perez. When you work with a Wendy Perez team, we guarantee you exceptional service, second to none. We have the key to your next home. Call Wendy Perez, a top 2% nationally ranked realtor. I'm very, very proud to carry on what my grandfather and my father have done. It's our, our reputation. You know, you've heard my husband say a hundred times, it's our family taking care of your family, but that really is how we feel. In 1955, my grandpa started Galt Heating. He just liked to uh, treat everybody as if every job we do, like we're doing it for our own house. It's important that, that our kids believe in hard work. The old role craftsmanship and doing what you say you're going to do. CCTC is an option for students in 10th grade to make that decision for 11th and 12th grade. Students typically come to us because they want a different way of learning. They really want to get working with their hands. We have waiting lists for the majority of our programs by March. If you are interested in coming to the Career Center, think about it early. Feel free to call or email anytime to schedule your private tour. We can't wait to meet you. Abisher's Jewelry has been serving the Valley for over 90 years. Our passion for fine diamonds and gemstones has not wavered since my great-grandfather started our business in 1928. Our desire has been and always will be to uphold our family tradition of excellence in both the quality of our pieces and service. Abisher's Jewelry, trusted jewelers since 1928. If you're hiring, we can help. Post your job with us right now. Go to MyValleyJobsToday.com. I'm Wendy Perez. When you work with a Wendy Perez team, we guarantee you exceptional service, second to none. We have the key to your next home. Call Wendy Perez, a top 2% nationally ranked realtor. It is a perfect day for football here in New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. Westminster College is the scene, and Westminster College is rolling. Titans with a 28-3 advantage over Bethany, as Westminster is seeking an eighth straight victory over Bethany. Chad Krispinski alongside Mark Slazak. All right, we're set for the third quarter. What are you expecting from the Titans moving forward? Oh, really, I think the defense will have that opportunity to, to try to continue to dominate and put pressure on the quarterback, Robinson. Keep him in the pocket, force him to throw, and now with this situation where you've got this big lead, if uh, Coach Robinson wants to try to get his team back in the game, they will have to throw, and that's exactly what Westminster wants him to do. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. The WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Westminster will get the football to start things here in the third quarter. Now the football is teed up, and it is sent away and hauled in by Chevy Dawson, and Dawson cut down as he crosses the 35 to the 36-yard line. So, first down and 10 for Westminster. And as we get you set for the first offensive play of the third quarter, we welcome back the third member of our broadcast team, here is Kristen McFarland. Yes, Chad, so I talked to both coaches at halftime. Head coach Scott Benzel says, let's keep the momentum, let's run the football, run the clock, keep that defense tight. On the opposing side, Bethany coach Brandon Robinson says, listen, let's take one play at a time, do the right things, this game's not over, Chad. Great work, Kristen, down on the sideline, and our sideline reports brought to you by Bar Bruno and Pizzeria. Run play goes to Gomes, and he is crushed down at the 50, but not before. A big gainer on the first play from scrimmage, and it's another Westminster first down. Very much a theme from today's game. They continue to churn out first downs. No doubt, Gomes picking up right where he left off after a 100-yard first half. Big run to start the second half for a Titan first half. 115 yards. And counting for Gomes, who takes the handoff again, and that time he was grabbed and spun down by Jan Patrick Shorn. And that time, short yardage gain for Gomes. Has not a lot of room on that left side. Still able to fight forward and, and get a couple of yards, even though he was contacted at the line of scrimmage. Second down and eight from the 47-yard line. 
continuing to pile things up. Three wide receivers near side to the right, one far side to the left. Cole Konechka takes the snap, looking to throw. Left side firing. Knockdown! Great defensive play by Bethany. It was cornerback Isaiah yeah. Thomas. Yeah, intended for Washington, but boy, did Thomas make a nice break on the football. Batting it down with the inside hand. And that allows him to not contact the receiver and sets up third and long. Ganechka trying to convert to third down. Westminster has done it all afternoon. Ganechka, quarterback draw. Looks to find a hole, has it first down and a late hit. And that was helmet to helmet. Yeah, Konechka, quarterback draw, got into the slide at the end of the run and then still got hit while he was down. And looked like uh, just about every official threw a flag on that play. And they're talking about this. Could this potentially be targeting? Yeah, I think there's a really good chance it's going to be targeting. And We'll hear the call here from our official, P.D. Harris II. Personal foul, targeting, defense number 39. 15-yard penalty at the end of the play. Penalty results in an automatic first down. Number 39 has been disqualified from the contest. That's a, the penalty that hurts double is Sean Wheeler, one of their top linebackers, will be disqualified on the penalty. So it's the 15 yards and the disqualification for targeting. So Wheeler's day is now done. And Westminster moves all the way down to the 21-yard line. It was very clear on the replay that we saw there that it was going to be a targeting, and it was confirmed. Konechka brings Chevy Dawson in motion right to left. Konechka to throw. He fires into the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Ty Elam from 21 yards out. And the former Sharon Tiger putting on a show. Boy, Konechka had time, floated it perfectly. You saw Elam with that little out fake, took it back to the inside, and then curled again out at that last moment. Ball drops right into the bread basket for the touchdown. Great concentration for Elam as the defender was right there. With the Titans on the board to start the second half. Byers on for the extra point for Westminster. Snap back, ball down, kick up, and the kick is good. 13-36 left to play in the third quarter. All Titans today, it's 35-3 on the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Adam Clayton, 33 Pinpoint Weather. If you're under 25 and out of school, let MCTA help you rock your next job interview. They can set up transportation to get you there on time, research employers, help with your application, purchase proper clothing, and more. Call to get started with MCTA today. We are the bridge builders, the building makers, the highway framers, the people who built America. We are iron workers, and we want you with careers starting at over $30 an hour, excellent growth opportunities, and healthy retirement and benefits packages. You can be part of the foundation of America's cities, roads, and buildings. Are you iron worker material? Apply for an apprenticeship today. Find new roads to savings at the Stadium Superstore, the only place where you'll find every GM brand, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac, all under one roof. Visit StadiumGM.com right now. Search through our massive new and used car inventory and find the perfect make and model to fit your needs. Value your trade and get pre-approved online. You'll find out why nobody beats a stadium deal. We offer pickup and delivery for service as well. It's the Stadium Superstore at StadiumGM.com. 33 WYTV is in the community, in your neighborhoods, local news, your pinpoint weather, 33 WYTV, weeknights. If you're under 25 and out of school, let MCTA help you choose your career. They can help pay for books and tuition, cover state testing, pay fees, provide a monthly gas allowance, and more. Call to get started with MCTA today. Spirits are high on the sideline of the Westminster Titans. They have opened up a 35-3 lead over Bethany with 13.36 to play 
here in the third quarter. Chad Krispinski marks lays out Kristen McFarland down on the sideline. Ben Pugh out of Canfield with a low line drive kick. It's hauled in, taken across the 20, out to the 25, the 30, 35, the 40, out to the 45, and ahead to the 50-yard line. You don't see many up men with an opportunity to return, but that's exactly the case for Timothy Burks. Yeah, I'm running back by trade with a nice return. How about Konechka, his uh, third touchdown pass of the year. This one to Elam Konechka in the game, 12 of 19 for 136 and a couple of scores. Gapping that five-play, 64-yard drive with that 21-yard touchdown pass to Ty Elam. Boy, it's so pretty when it works, and mm -hmm. that pass was picture-perfect. Good field position for Bethany, but that Westminster score that put them up 35-3 to goes right with those keys to the game. Start fast. Yeah, they did that in the first half. They've done that here in the second half as well. Marquise Robinson. Well, keep it around the right side and Robinson trying to get to the corner and then he's escorted to the far sideline but he still did pick up six maybe seven yards on first down and again he's just a smart quarterback not great speed not a great arm according to his head coach but he's just a good football player and they love having him and then we're with a couple of backs in the set that time faked the handoff and then sprinted to the outside before Butler could push him out of bounds <laughs> He'll give him second down and five after a pickup of five. Robinson gives. This is Owens. Owens did a good job to get back to the original line of scrimmage. And it's third down and five. That time, penetration up the middle for Westminster's Ty Reader there to hit Robinson. From the 43-yard line, Titan defense looking to tighten up. Robinson on a slant, firing its incomplete. It was intended for McWhorter, and it's incomplete fourth down. You would imagine that the Bison would go for it here. Yeah, they leave the offense out there. Nice defensive play that time by the linebacker, Ian Barr, who got a hand in there, made the hit right as the ball got to McWhorter. No huddle, just everybody looking to the sideline for the play call on fourth down and five. From the 43, 12-26 left. If Bethany has any hopes of getting back into this thing, they've got to convert, they've got to get some points, and they've got to do it quickly. Robinson with the back to each side. And the give up the middle is to Owens. He indeed has the first down inside the 35 and wrestled down at the 34-yard line. And the big back Owens out of Baltimore able to work his way up the middle. We've got some late flags on the play. Maybe things getting a little testy down there. We'll await the word from that late penalty from Petey Harris, the second. At the conclusion of the play, and after the first down was gained, dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct. Bethany, number 55, for picking a player off the pile. This number five, 55's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game be Bethany's ball, first and 10. That's Benjamin Wright, the fourth. Yeah, PA player out of Bridgeville, so. When there's a pile, you can't come in late with a block and try to scrape somebody off, and that's what he got caught doing after the Owens first down run. So it's still first down, but now first and 10, and this drive will start back near midfield at the Titan 49. Robinson, again with the back to each side. He'll keep it himself. He tries the right side again, reverses his tracks, breaks one tackle, and not the second as he was slammed down by Danny Timmons. We've called his name a couple of times here today. He was having none of that. Now again, it was Reeder with some great penetration and Westminster instantly forcing Robinson to change his direction and then Timmons there to finish him off. And after all of that, it's a pickup of just a yard, second down and nine. Robinson. Gives it to Colton Stoneman. Very little pickup of a yard or two. That'll set up third down and long. Stoneman with the two sidecars out of the shotgun. 
A lot of RPO. Kind of wait and hold the ball a long time. Robinson trying to find whether he should keep it in a run or hand off. Just kind of continues to read that defensive end, which actually has been getting good penetration, whether it be Timmons, either one of them, or Cole on the linebacker spot last time, forcing the ball inside. Third and seven from the 46-yard line. Robinson to throw. That one was tipped at the line of scrimmage, and it is incomplete. It'll be fourth and seven. Great penetration again. Yeah, that was Braden Timmons on the outside. Ian Barr is looking at him saying, I think I was going to pick that if you didn't knock it down. But a nice defensive play by Timmons as they tried to get the ball to the outside. As you watch the replay, Barr did have a nice break on the ball. Maybe, but they'll take it as it is, and it's a punting situation for Bethany. I said, you're killing me here. <laughs> All right, in putt formation is Bethany set to kick it away. Trey Dean, Bryce Butler, who has already had a big day with a pick six. Back deep to return, and I don't think he's going to get an opportunity or will he? Nope, he sure won't. It's out of bounds. It'll be first and ten as Westminster is pinned in deep. Titans have it first and ten with 10.44 left to play in the third quarter. Yeah, nice punt there by Dean. Just a low line drive kick. WKBN's Big 22 includes the five blocks of granite, which honors the top high school football linemen of the Valley. It is sponsored by the Moransky Companies and by Coca's Pizza. They serve it hot. Go to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players in the Valley. We'll see what happens here, but if Westminster is able to stick it in for six more at some point, you'd imagine maybe the fourth quarter we'll see some of the younger depth. We'll see, though. Already 35-3, but it is only week two. Also want to get some reps for those young guys up front. And the give us to Gomes. Gomes breaking tackles. Spun down. As he crosses the 15-yard line of the 16. Ball came loose. Bethany is saying it was free. And they call it a fumble, Mark. So late in the run, Gomes, a nifty run, a nice cutback. And as we watch the replay, as he goes down, he's on top of a player when that ball spills out. So it's a good call. It was, yeah, it was a fumble. Bethany there, and obviously great field position to start a drive as they're at the 15-yard line of Westminster, putting the defense right back out on the field. So that whole thought of getting some of that depth in there, let's scrap that for now. Mm -hmm. First jinx stat of college football for you right there, Chad. <laughs> That's right. Stoneman and Owens in the backfield. Two wideouts near side to the left, one far side to the right. Robinson will give it to Owens. He's rumbling his way down to the 11-yard line. Barr got in the way to make the tackle. But the big guy Owens running downhill on that one, running over Barr. He got enough of them to knock him down. But the gain down to the 10. On second down, Robinson keeps it himself. He's bobbing and weaving his way, but he didn't get much help as he was hemmed in and brought down as soon as he tried to slice his way upfield. That'll set up a third down situation. Now, Robinson wanted to get to the outside, but Trelor had great penetration off the right end, forced him back up the middle for gain into traffic. Robinson facing third down and four. The line of scrimmage is the nine-yard line. Bethany trying to score its first touchdown. Stoneman comes in motion. Robinson fires on a slant, and it is incomplete. And on in coverage for Westminster. Like Corte Williams. Yeah, Corte Williams got a hand in there. The receiver, Devon Lewis, on a slant pattern had to kind of reach up, move him back for the ball, and that's right where Corte was to put a slap on it and knock it down. Offense stays out on fourth and four. Bethany trying to take advantage of the fumble by Gomes of Westminster. Robinson. 
Takes the snap. He'll go to the air. Fade pattern into the end zone. Tipped around incomplete. And a turnover on downs. Intended for Trey Dean in the corner of the end zone. But again, Kevin Wright, the cornerback, the sophomore at 6 1, creates a lot of difficulty for every, any wide receiver trying to throw a lob. It's not necessarily going to work against Trey Dean. As you watch on the replay, he's up high. Almost had a chance to pick it up, but bangs it out of bounds on fourth down. It's Westminster football. So the Westminster defense will bend and not break. No harm, no foul on the fumble by Gomes. It goes back to the Titans, first and ten from the nine. And Gomes is quickly back into the lineup. Will go his way again. Get that confidence back up. He's had a great day. Gomes slicing his way up the field, scratching and clawing for extra yardage. Back up across the 15 to the 16, right about at the 16 is where that fumble took place. When you think about it, Chad, that previous run on the, on the fumble, it was just Gomes working so hard, continuing to try to get that extra yardage. And when you do that, you do leave yourself open sometimes for a turnover and a late shot, but Gomes comes right back with a big run. Second down and six from the 16. The ball again goes to Gomes. Gomes continues to pile up that yardage. He has another first down. And Ryan Gomes and the offensive line at Westminster has been very effective. Gomes well over 100 yards now. From the 27-yard line. Westminster quickly back to the line of scrimmage. A wide out to each side, tight end on the right side. Konechka looking to throw, looking to the left side, firing incomplete well over everybody's head. And incomplete, the intended target was Jalen Washington. Haven't heard from him in a while. Haven't needed to, really. Washington was big on the Titans' second drive for a touchdown. He had four catches on that drive when... He actually caught the touchdown that gave Westminster a 14 to three lead. That time a little stop and go pattern overshot by Konechka. And Konechka fakes the handoff, fires, and it is off the fingertips of the intended target and perilously close to an interception. That time it was intended for Washington and it was almost a second turnover. It went down to just above the blades of uh, artificial turf as he reaches down with two hands, kind of tipped it up to himself and then tipped it again, which almost gave the defender a chance at the pick. Third down and 10. Walter Phillips has checked into the backfield. He's to the right of Konechka. Konechka is back to throw. Dumps it off and Phillips can't make the catch. There's a flag down. And let's see if it's either a hold or a late hit on the quarterback. It's a hold. And Konechka just trying to flip it out into the flat for Phillips. A little bit hot on the throw. Phillips could not bring it in, but the hold penalty. Holding. Offense number 70. Phillips declined. Fourth down. Obviously, it was declining the penalty there, so a punting situation for Westminster. So out comes the punt group. It'll be Ben Pugh to punt. Pugh had a long of 53 yards last week. He came into the game averaging 33.2 yards per punt. Pugh gets this kick away, and the fair catch is made at the 47-yard line. Timeout on the field will take one as well. 35-3 in favor of Westminster in the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Hannah Stetler, 33 Pinpoint Weather. Teal College, a creative, energetic place that's rooted in academic excellence, innovation, and tradition. Where motivated students become motivated graduates. Where so much is so close. Teal College. That's where. For all your legal needs, turn to the trusted attorneys at Ingram, Cassis, and Grem. If you or a loved one were harmed or injured in an accident caused by another's negligence, you need immediate representation to deal with the insurance company and to obtain full and fair compensation. 
at ICG, our personal injury lawyers are highly skilled in this difficult area of law. Hire a law firm of local lawyers willing to give you the attention that you deserve. Nowadays, you've got enough things to worry about. Your car shouldn't be one of them. And at Spitzer, stay worry-free with our Spitzer Shield. Get exclusive new vehicle benefits, like a lifetime nationwide powertrain warrant. Unlimited time, unlimited miles. Plus, get benefits on our Spitzer certified vehicles, like our nationwide powertrain warranty, peace of mind with bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage, and more. Visit your local Spitzer Auto Store today and get the Spitzer Shield. At Spitzer, our world revolves around Breaking news can happen at any moment. That's why you can count on us. We update you on the go. Download the 33 WYTV News app today. Teal College, an energetic place focused on your academic and personal success. Where so much is so close. Good news. Teal College is now enrolling for fall 2023. Enjoy an incredible college experience close to home. Apply today at teal.edu. Welcome back. 35-3 is our score. 7.53 left to play. In the third quarter, it is Bethany football. First down and 10 from the 48-yard line. Bison bring a man in motion. This is Robinson on the keeper, and he got decked. And there to make the tackle for Westminster, it was Mason Manos. Talk about Marquise Robinson, just 5'8", 150 out of Miami Gardens, Florida. After this game or even through this part, there is no one that should ever question his toughness. Well, you're right. Second and eight. The give is to Stoneman, and Stoneman tries the right side. And he pushes his way down to the 46-yard line of Westminster. See a lot of the run plays up the middle now, the run pass option for Bethany. This is playing exactly into what Coach Benzel wanted to create, to take away their big playability, to make them think that they have to run the ball, that they're not able to throw the ball against the Titans. This is exactly what they wanted, the game plan working perfectly through this first uh, two and a half quarters. So it will be third down and four. As the Bison desperately trying to keep the drive alive and get into the end zone somehow, some way. And Robinson fakes the handoff, keeps it himself on the RPO. Football is loose. No official signal just yet. Well, Westminster has Westminster the ball. Has there it, it is. There's the signal. Titans have it. And Josh Elm was coming out of the pile with the ball. Officials looking at each other like, hey, I got it. And Can't change hit. that now. I can remember an NFL game. It was a Cleveland <laughs> Browns game a couple of years ago. The officials pointing. It's the other team's ball, and the Browns player is holding it. <laughs> right. Billy Waters had a big hit on the outside. We've got a player down. But Waters with the hit and the recovery there for Elm for Westminster. So it's tough to tell who the injured Bethany player is. But a big time turnover. Of course, Westminster had the pick six earlier in the game, courtesy of Bryce Butler. There's the second Bethany turnover. Westminster had a fumble this quarter as well. And I'm still trying to see exactly the jersey number of the injured Bison player. Looks like they're looking at his right leg. Let's check out some scores, which are brought to you by Spitzer Lordstown in North Jackson. At Spitzer, our world revolves around you. No suspense in Columbus, Ohio State, all over Arkansas State, 38 to 12. In other action, it is Allegheny with a 19-6 lead at the break over Teal and Grove City doubling up Geneva. That one is gone to the third quarter. These are packed teams playing each other, but this first week is not a league week, so these are all exhibitions. Welcome back to Allegheny to the pack as they'll be a member. Yeah, that Westminster defense has been really good, and they'll see some of these conference teams that we just saw later in the year, and boy, Bryce Butler is gonna be a force to be reckoned with when they do face off with this Westminster team, scratching and clawing on his way to the end zone, but the turnovers starting to pile up a little bit now. 
The injured player was one of the offensive linemen able to get up and, and get off the field under his own power. But yeah, Westminster creating a couple of turnovers tonight, or this afternoon, I should say, and now first down and 10 from their own 45. 624 left to play in the third quarter. Titans still on the attack, looking for more. Konechka fakes the handoff. Fires to the near side, and it is incomplete. And there's a penalty flag down. And Konechka had a trio of receivers in the area. The ball kind of landed between Personal all Personal foul, them. roughing the passer, defense. Number one, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. T.C. Fofang, who had a uh, nice defensive game last week against Hiram, and the first time we really called his name is via roughing the passer penalty. Not a good debut to the name-calling situation, so it's first and 10 from the 40-yard line of Bethany. Holmes is back in there. Dawson comes in motion. We haven't called his name much today. And the give is to Gomes, and Gomes pushing the pile down to the 35-yard line. It is a pickup of five yards. It'll be second down and five. Again, Gomes leaning left. Why not lean to the left when you see that hole? You got big Gabe Cute Cleveland out there, 6'3", 285 out of Georgia. One of the top pack offensive players along that offensive line. Second down and five. From the 35, again, the give is to Gomes, and he slipped, lost his footing as he tried to cut it back to the inside. That was the byproduct of the slip rather than him just being dropped. A lot of jump cuts in the offense of Gomes. That time, feet went out from under him. Going to be third down and short. Third down and three. You talked about Gabe Cleveland leading things on the offensive line. Coach Benzel said that Cleveland up front had the best camp that he has seen any player have in 10 years. And he said he's learning, this was interesting, he's learning that he's the biggest, toughest kid in the sandbox and he plays that way. Really tough kid. Third and three. Konechka puts his head down and barrels forward. And it's going to be more than enough for a Westminster first down. Yeah, maybe crossing up Bethany there with a quarter gap. Quarterback sneak, you don't see a sneak often when you're two, three yards away, but Konechka quickly behind his center, plowing forward for the first down. So the Titans are on the move once again from the 28-yard line. And Konechka gives it. Gomes runs, spins, and he's tackled inside the 20. And Westminster has reached the BNR wholesale tire and wheel red zone. Come on the run up the middle. Gomes kind of breaks the line of scrimmage and then just kind of pauses for a moment thinking, what's the best way to go here? A lot of blue jerseys in front, reads the blocks well, picks up the first down. First down and 10 from the 18-yard line. And Konechka fakes the handoff. He rolls to the near side. He throws on the run, and it is incomplete. Intended for tight end Alex Shaughnessy out of Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. Seton LaSalle High School. The ball just a little bit high as Shaughnessy works his way out into the flat. Good pressure that time from Bethany. Second and 10 from the 18. TJ Crowder with good coverage as well. And Konechka gives it up the middle, but nowhere to go for Gomes on that play. A little misdirection that time, and as you said, not much room, just a, maybe a half a length of a football, if anything. It's a pickup, maybe a half yard, as you said, third and nine from the 17. Two wideouts to the left. Shaughnessy comes in motion. Konechka to throw, flushed, floating, and it is incomplete. I thought for a second that there may be a roughing call, but just some good pressure coming from up the middle. It's Nathan Rouse. Yeah. And really no time for the play to develop for Westminster that time. Rouse, good push up the middle. And got some contact on Konechka as well, just as he threw the football away. 
So it's fourth down and nine. See if Konechka takes a shot to the end zone here. Gomes is to his left. Play clock winding down inside of five. Konechka back to throw. Dumps it off to the left side. Gomes makes the catch. Has the first down. He got right where he needed to be. And show him out of bounds at about the 10 yard line. Now let's see. And, he, and I think where they're going to mark him out, Chad, he might just be a little he bit short. He might be a little bit short. Uh, the sticks, and, and in a smart way, if you're over there holding the sticks, you got to bail, and that's what happened. And when when the, the, the person on the far side holding the sticks, it, it appeared that he got around him, did Gomes, but the but sticks a little the bit stick. the sticks were a little bit short because they dropped and bailed, not wanting to get run over. Shy by less than a yard, and it'll be a turnover on downs, giving it back to Bethany. First down and 10. And the Bison defense comes up with the stop. After an early touchdown, a Konechka to Elam 21-yard touchdown pass real early in this quarter. It's been a couple of turnovers, some turnover on downs, and not much going on here in this third. Robinson will give up the middle, and there is a wall of Westminster defensive linemen waiting for the ball carrier. There was nowhere to go whatsoever. I think uh, from the beginning of the game, the defensive line and the linebackers have tried to hit Robinson or get to Robinson on every play. So run pass option, whether he's handing off or throwing, he takes shot after shot. And when he does keep it, there's often nowhere to go. A gain of one, second down and nine. And Robinson will keep it himself. And he ah. is slammed down on the play by Danny Timmons. Well, Timmons just getting better and better with every snap. Uh, good game last week when he came in, and he continues to do well. Read this play perfectly, came in, and made a solid tackle to pull down Robinson for the loss. Third down and a boatload now. Third and 14. Game clock winding inside of two and a half minutes to play third quarter. See if Westminster brings some pressure. Robinson turns. It's a run play to the right side. It goes nowhere. And the punt group will have to come out. Cole there, Timmons there again. Making the defensive plays from the outside. Westminster is going to get some tremendous field position. Bryce Butler back deep to return, and the former Farrell Steeler with a chance to put on a show once again. He's already done so with a pick six. Trey Dean to punt in the shadow of the back of the end zone. And Dean hits away a low, wobbly kick. Bryce Butler trying to track it down, and he does so. Butler can fly. Butler, 35, 30, 25, 20, down inside the 20 to the 15-yard line. There is a flag. In fact, two flags down. Yeah, we're going to have a legal block here on the Titans. But, boy, you saw Butler, who was lined up in the middle of the field on that big Titan logo, really sprint over to the near sidelines. Jerry, wanted Jerry, an opportunity. Personal foul. Blindside block. Receiving team, number 32. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Westminster keep the ball first down. And yeah, Butler hustled over, tapped the ball so it wouldn't get out of bounds, picked up one of that big return, but the illegal block on the blind side, that crackback blind side block will take away the nice return from Bryce Butler. And so back Westminster up. First down and 10 for the Titans from their own 46-yard line. Regardless of the penalty, you've seen it a million times yeah. calling feral games. Well, anytime that kid gets the ball in his hands, look out. First and 10 from the 46. In motion comes Royal Island. It is a run play up to the 50-yard line. Gomes, big day continues. That time wrapped the ball up with two hands as he made his way through the middle for a short yardage pickup as we're under a minute to go here in this third quarter. 
Royal Island again comes in motion, and the give is to Konechka, who faked the handoff, and it's a late flag and a slant looking for Ty Elam. You know, nice ball handling that time by Konechka. Put it in the belly of Gomes, pulled it out, tried to hit Elam on the slant. Uh, Elam had some Pass position. interference. Defense number four. It's a spot foul. Automatic first down. And Elam had position on the slant. Defender came over him for the interference and the automatic first down on the spot foul. Second interference call on Vickers today by my count. And it is a first down and 10. But Ty, Le Ty Elam is lightning quick as well out of Sharon High School. Konechka floats it downfield for Elam. And he makes the catch, but he's out of bounds. Tried to tap those feet inbounds. How many times in this quadrant of the <laughs> field does he make tremendous catches? He's done it twice today. And then during our halftime interview that we showed some highlights, Elam did it at least two or three times a year ago. Yeah, boy, it just missed over the shoulder catch, trying to track the ball and the sideline. Kind of difficult play. Elam almost got that foot in, but an incomplete pass now, second and ten. Chevy Dawson comes in motion. Konechka back to throw. He'll air it out downfield, and it is incomplete. Wow. There was plenty of contact there. It was incidental contact, but contact nonetheless. As the ball was intended for another former Sharon standout, Marcel Smith Austin. And running right into him was Davion Eason. Pass interference. Defense number 20. 15 yard foul from the previous spot. It only results in an automatic first down. And what happened there is uh, Eason came up and put the hit on uh, Smith Austin as the ball still in the air. So kind of took away any chance that maybe Austin could have gone the next four yards to grab the ball and thus the penalty. The ball is marked at the 27. It is pitched to Gomes. Gomes tripped up at the 22 yard line. If that shoestring tackle isn't made, he may still be running. And I don't think we're going to snap the ball again until the third quarter is in the books. Final 10 seconds ticking on down. And we have played three quarters of football here in New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. We head to the fourth quarter. Westminster 35, Bethany 3. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. WYTV.com, your home for community news. Ballarat is more than just a place to work. Ballarat is a great place to work. They have an internship program that allowed me to learn skills and upon graduation offered me a full-time position. Start your career, visit ballartjobsonline.com today. Moving the ball down the field takes a plan and a team of people moving towards a common goal. Every step, every adjustment gets you closer to victory. At ASCCU, we're the team that helps you win. From managing your first paycheck, to becoming a homeowner, to being secure in retirement, we've got your back. Get the winning game plan to build the exciting life you deserve. Join our team at the Associated School Employees Credit Union. We're open to the community. We're serious about football at Fred Martin Ford, but it's our customers that matter the most. And we got a deal for you. New Echo Sport 4x4s. Lease yours today for just $299 per month. And that's with no money down. Come see our full lineup of new Fords and save with interest rates as low as 0.9%. Our team at Fred Martin Ford is your best defense against high prices because we sell for less, a lot less. Craving something new and tasty? Embark on the great dining adventure at Eastwood Mall. Participating restaurants will be cooking up great deals on delicious meals for dining in or taking out. Every Monday and Tuesday now through October 25th. Spend $50 or more at participating restaurants, take your receipts to the mall's customer service center, and you'll get a $25 H&M gift card. Go to eastwoodmall.com to learn more about the great dining adventure. Ballarat is more than just a place to work. Ballarat is a great place to work. It lets me utilize my skills within both mills and gives you an opportunity to grow within the company. To start your career, visit ballardjobsonline.com today.
15 minutes to play in the home opener. Westminster cruising past Bethany. The toss sweep goes to Gomes. Bobbin and weaving his way. He's down inside the 20. Knocked down at the 16-yard line. Westminster once again back in the BNR wholesale tire and wheel red zone. As the Titans looking for more points here. Early in the fourth quarter. Again, when they run this tempo offense, look to the sidelines, but Cole Konechka has the freedom to call plays here, and he's done a nice job. And Konechka will again give it to Gomes. Shot out of a cannon, lowers the shoulder, and barrels down to the six-yard line. I think when you got number one, Gomes, running as well as he is, it's kind of easy to say, let's keep calling those same plays. Got to tighten down here. An injured Westminster player. I can't quite make out who it is, can you? I can't see. I think we might have the tight end, Chevy Dawson. It looks like they're working on a cramp. Dawson's a very athletic tight end. Made some big time catches a year ago. With this Westminster team. You see on the screen the young lady, the trainer. That's Jillian Herrick. She's the daughter of Brian Herrick, the Greenville football coach. She's been added to the staff here just recently at Westminster. Yep, this year. Yep. Good to see Chevy Dawson able to make his way off. It'll be second down and one upcoming. Westminster. Two wide outs near side to the left, one far side to the right, one back in the backfield. It is Gomes under center. Konechka tosses it. Gomes cuts it back inside, trying to rumble his way down to the goal line, and he comes up just a tiny bit short, but it is a first down. First and goal upcoming. Gomes has a 31-yard touchdown in the first quarter. He's got a seven-yard touchdown run in quarter two and was just a few inches away from... Adding his third score of the game. And it is first and goal from the one-yard line. Konechka takes the snap, trying to push his way in, and he's in for the touchdown. One-yard run by Cole Konechka. Got under center, took the snap, got into the hole, actually turned backwards and pushed in reverse into the end zone. For the 41-3 Westminster lead. And the Titans are cruising now, and they have been right from the get-go. Byers on for the extra point. Snap back, ball down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. 13.45 left in this one. All Westminster today in the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Local obituaries and calling hours at MyValleyTributes.com. Looking to sell your home? Call Classic Real Estate for hometown service, values, and expertise. Locally owned since 1969. Sell your home fast. Call Classic Real Estate at Flynn Auto Group's team of factory certified technicians are worth rooting for. Schedule online and get your vehicle back in the game. Dad, are you ready for me to get my own place? No. What bank are you getting your mortgage from? They're all the same. Farmers National Bank is different. Your grandfather believed do business with people you trust. Plumber, milkman. Milkman. Your banker. Technology has changed things. Farmers has all that technology you love but it's people who are irreplaceable. Dad, I'm not moving far. Farmers, fiercely local, fiercely loyal. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year.
Looking to sell your home? Call Classic Real Estate for hometown service, values, and expertise. Locally owned since 1969. Sell your home fast. Call Classic Real Estate at 330-757-8855. 45 left to play in the ball game. And the home opener and the home cooking is treating Westminster quite well. Westminster 42, Bethany 3, Westminster seeking an eighth straight victory over Bethany. I would say, unless something dramatic happens, that will be the case. That would be dramatic in all capital letters in this <laughs> situation. Seven plays, 39 yards. The touchdown drive, Cole Konechka with the one-yard run and the Byers kick for this Westminster 42-3 lead. Pugh has the ball teed up. Former Canfield Cardinal has shown off a strong leg. And this one is deep and into the end zone, and it will be brought out across the 10. Across the 15, outside to the 20, 25, 30, out near the 34-yard line. What you thought it took for granted was going to be a touchback ends up being a pretty decent return for Bethany. Yeah, Dion Parker, the wide receiver out of Fort Lauderdale with a nice return. So first and ten for the Bison. That was Pew. I think that banged him out of bounds as well. He came running off with his helmet off. They celebrate with him. <laughs> like Pew's catching his breath. I don't know if he's had it made to a place like that. He's got to sit down. <laughs> first and ten from the 35-yard line. It's a run play up the middle, just to the 40-yard line. Well, now you have to go back to your Canfield days and call in games. Is Pew a linebacker? Because if he wasn't, he wanted to be. He certainly was on that play on the kick return. And sometimes you say, well, maybe I should have thought better of that. <laughs> and it looks like we have a new quarterback in there for Bethany. Looks like Elijah Hernandez is in. Back to each side of Hernandez. And again, the Bison stick to the ground attack. It's Rob Taylor. That's so a new the Bison, quarterback, new running back. I even see a couple of new wide receivers. Mm -hmm. Looks like Devon Lewis has checked in for Bethany. So we may see in this fourth quarter. We thought it might happen, sprinkling in some. Backups. We got Jaheim Odu in the backfield as well right now. And Hernandez takes the snap. And again <laughs> gives it to Rob Taylor. Looks like he slipped down and got hit hard. That'll set up a fourth down play. He slipped down and said, I don't want to have anything to do with Andrew Hyder, who was standing right there in the hole. Licking his chops. Yep, 5'8", 319 out of Mechanics. Is it Mechanicsville, Maryland? So in punt formation is Trey Dean. And we won't see Bryce Butler back to return. We'll see a new punt returner. Ethan Burford will go deep. Out of Shippenville, Pennsylvania. This one will take a Westminster bounce. Oh, my. Well, sometimes the bounces go your way, sometimes they don't. And today, every bounce going the way of Westminster. It ended up being about a three-yard punt. By the time it bounces and rolls back, <laughs> one of the Titans actually had to duck. And the ball came bounding back to not get hit with the football. And a tough break there for Dean. As the punt already short, but then bounced and came right back at him. Sometimes you just Oof. shake your head and say, it's not our day. Yeah. And we do see a new quarterback in there for Westminster. Looks like Tyler McGowan is checked in. And McGowan brings a man in motion. It's Alex Shaughnessy. Here's Walter Phillips. Phillips pushes a pile ahead for just a yard. Ty McGowan's a freshman, six foot 190. Out at Coriopolis, played at Moon High School. 
Sounds like the same address as the other quarterback, and it is. Cole Konechka also was from Moon Area High School. Hoping that it runs in yeah. the Moon family. If uh, Coach Benzel hits twice on Moon quarterbacks that uh, were as good as Konechka, yeah, I don't think he could be any happier. And again, the give is to Walter Phillips. Picks up about a yard. Setting up third down and eight. But as complete a performance as you could hope for if you're Coach Benzel in Westminster. Westminster with a lot of new faces on in the offensive lineup right now. And same on the Bethany side as we have 10 minutes to go in this one and a big Westminster lead. Third and eight from the 43. And they will toss it to Phillips and Phillips again lost his footing slipped and was quickly covered and that'll set up a fourth down play. I also see a former Grove City football standout Brady Callahan in at wide receiver on that last play. That's one thing. So many of these local players, you see them from all over the country, yeah. but you have to love when you see the, the local football standouts from the Pennsylvania area that we cover and over into Ohio as well. Yeah. Was a quarterback during his Grove City days. Yes, now a wide out here at Westminster is Callahan to a near side. Fourth down and seven. Xavier McDonald along the offensive line, 73, is a Wilmington product. And a timeout going to be taken here by Westminster. Timeout taken by Coach Benzel. 9.20 left to play in the ballgame. We'll take it as well. 42-3 Westminster on the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Find a job now at myvalleyjobstoday.com. Teal College, a creative, energetic place that's rooted in academic excellence, innovation, and tradition, where motivated students become motivated graduates where so much is so close. Teal College, that's where. Find new roads to savings at the Stadium Superstore, the only place where you'll find every GM brand, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac, all under one roof. Visit StadiumGM.com right now. Search through our massive new and used car inventory and find the perfect make and model to fit your needs. Value your trade and get pre-approved online. You'll find out why nobody beats a stadium deal. We offer pickup and delivery for service as well. It's the Stadium Superstore at StadiumGM.com. The Hot Dog Shop is your hometown hot dog, and we want to know, how do you like your dog? I like mine with chili. Ketchup and mustard and hot sauce. I've been coming here forever. He is a two chili and cheese hot dogs. Sauce and onions. Chili cheddar. No, che no cheese? No. But I had a whole bunch of ketchup. Kraut and mustard. Chili? Stop in and get your hometown hot dog at a hot dog shop today. 33 WYTV is in the community, in your neighborhoods, local news, your pinpoint weather, 33 WYTV, weeknights. Teal College, an energetic place focused on your academic and personal success, where so much is so close. Good news. Teal College is now enrolling for fall 2023. Enjoy an incredible college experience close to home. Apply today at teal.edu. 9.20 left to play in the fourth quarter. 42-3 in favor of Westminster. And the Titans facing a fourth down and seven play. And it looks like Lane Voidick has checked in. He's lined up in putt formation. And it's a low line drive kick, which will hit and roll inside the 10, inside the 5, and touchdown inside the one-yard <laughs> line. You could not have drawn that nope. up any better. So Lane Voidick with the punt. And the Titans able to slide down on it inside the five-yard line. They're going to mark it at about the three. And Bethany with a long field in front of them with 9-12 to go. Well, I said it a couple seconds ago. When it's your day, it's your day. Everything rolling the way for Westminster and these fans loving what they see. 
It is first down and 10 from the three yard line. Lane Boydick, former Sharon High quarterback, with the big punt there. Hernandez looking to throw, firing downfield on the comeback route, back shoulder, mm -hmm. incomplete. Devon Lewis out of Columbus, Ohio, Lancaster High School. Or as some folks there would say, Lancaster. <laughs> yeah, if they're there, that's what they say. Yep. Kenyon Cathy there defensively. Actually changed that. Emmanuel Mamundum there on the play. All the way to the fourth quarter before I got the first double number that got me there. <laughs> I've had a couple of those already tonight. <laughs> Bison keep it to the ground and not much happening. Sort of a familiar theme that has rung true all afternoon long. The Westminster's really done a nice job in, in reading the quarterback and, and really putting their sights on him and hitting the quarterback virtually every play. And if you've got that run pass option and you get hit time after time after time as the quarterback, well, then you're less likely to stick it in there and pull it out because you're going to get hit multiple times. Third down and eight upcoming for Bethany. Eliza Hernandez, a sophomore quarterback from San Benito, Texas. San Benito High School. He'll go to the air, firing down field. What a catch in traffic at the 30-yard line. That oh, really? was impressive. It was Caleb Weeks with two Titans draped over him. And he somehow made the catch. Yeah, no doubt. Right in traffic, weeks on the in route. And a good throw by Hernandez right where it had to go between the two Titan defenders. First down and 10 from the Bison 32-yard line. And Hernandez gives. Pickup of about a yard on the play. Bison continue to shuffle. Who backs into the backfield. That time Nathan Dean in the middle of the field among the Titan defenders to make the stop. Second and nine in the backfield for Bethany. It's Jaheim Hodo out of Sarasota, Florida. And Hernandez. Puts it in the bread basket, pulls it back out, somehow keeps his balance, and then is cut down. Tripped up by Lucas Lander. Out of Kiski Area High School. And it's third and seven. He's forced to the outside. Hernandez and Lander there to make the play. We're inside of seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Coming up after the game, we'll visit with our player of the game. And Hernandez fakes the handoff. He'll tuck it, take it himself. Titans trying to strip the ball free. And he was brought down after a pickup of just a couple. Fourth down, and the punt team will come back out. A familiar name, Trey Dean, to yeah. kick it away. Dean's last punt from similar area of the field, only good for about three yards. And back deep to return, Tyler Ness out of York, Pennsylvania. Kick is away. This one is a little bit of a better one. It hangs in the air, and the fair catch is made by Ness with 5.41 left to play. Here in the fourth quarter, 42 to 3 is our score. Following today's action, we'll select our player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. Our player of the game award is sponsored by our good friends at Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing and Teal College. So it is first and 10 from the 33-yard line with 5.41 left to play in the backfield for Westminster. It's Kenyon K uh, Cathy. 
And Kathy is wrestled down short of the 35-yard line. He's a product of the Buckeye State New London High School. Westminster will be home again next Saturday playing a night game as they'll take on Allegheny under the lights. Now, there's always some sort of fun, the mystique of a <laughs> night game. Traditionalists will say, let's keep college football on Saturday afternoons. Second down and nine. And they'll toss it to Caffey. And he's up to the 39-yard line. Be a bye week next week for Bethany, and then they'll come back September 24th at W&J. And, of course, coming up later this season, we'll see Westminster battle it out with both Teal and Grove City. Third down and six from the 38. They'll let the play clock wind all the way down. Tyler McGowan is in at quarterback. On in relief of Cole Konechka. McGowan looking to throw. He's a southpaw, floats it into the far side bench. And it is fourth down and six. That's the first we're able to tell. He's lefty. He's he rolled. Handed it off yeah. each time. We mentioned we'll have Westminster in Teal. It'll be a homecoming yeah. for Westminster in that one. And then over at Grove City for a matchup there. But I think you'd agree, fresh off a disappointing setback, you always want to win the opener. But fresh off that disappointing loss, Coach Benzel's team got back to work. And they did what they were supposed to do, what they needed to do. And they're going to leave this game feeling pretty confident, pretty pretty good about what they did. I think it was disappointing, but, it, but not totally discouraging. They weren't discouraged about it, disappointed, but a, a nice comeback today. And so the fair catch is made for Bethany by Chris Williams. So we'll see if we have a, a third quarterback come out for Bethany. And look, the situation may seem a little bit dire, even though Bethany came away with a victory last week, but head coach Brandon Robinson, his emphasis, he wants to change the culture. He said he wants the players not to be up too, too up or too down. He doesn't want them worrying about past mistakes. He'll take what positives he can from this game and move on as they try to rebuild that program. Hernandez. He is brought down. He worked really hard for that one yard. Yeah, defensively there for the Titans. Mason Palajic, a freshman, at a linebacker spot, able to make that play. You know, with Coach Robinson, he's in his first year, and he wants to change the culture. You're, 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 if you're your first year, you're dealing with a lot of players you didn't recruit. And you, you got to change a culture and a mindset. It's a little more difficult in year one, but coach feels he has the buy-in. It's a good start. This is Rob Taylor finding an opening to the stiff arm to the 40 to the 45, rumbling his way down to the 49-yard line, and that's a good-looking run. It's one of the better plays for Bethany all afternoon on that run. Taylor's a junior out of Hyattsville, Maryland, mm -hmm. just 160 pounds, but. Running much bigger there with great strength. They broke one tackle, stiff-armed another tackler, and got onto the Titans side of the field at the 49-yard line as we're just about at the three-minute mark in this ballgame. Jaheim Hodo is in the backfield. The quarterback is Elijah Hernandez. And Hodo Ooh. takes the handoff, and that play blown up immediately. Yeah. Gene Carey Joseph at D tackle was there to meet the ball carrier. Odo, as soon as he grabbed it and knocked him down, had some help there from Solomon Davis for the loss on the play. Loss of five at his second down and 15. Hernandez operating out of the shotgun. He 
will keep it himself, bouncing it to the outside. He's to the 50. Hurdles one tackler. And a flag flies as he was grabbed and thrown down. Pushed back to the 49-yard line. We'll check out the call. It'll be a hold. Block in the back on the offense, number 18. Ten-yard penalty. Remains second down. That's Caleb Weeks, the guilty party. Lock in the back of the call. So we'll move back. So it is second down and all the way to Bethany for a first down. Second and 23. Shaheem Hodo in the backfield. Hernandez brings a man in motion. Hernandez will keep it himself. He was grabbed and buried at the 40-yard line for a pickup of just one yard. In to make the tackle for Westminster. It hasn't really mattered. doesn't matter what blue jerseys you put no. up front. The defensive line has done an excellent job. Joseph Mansfield was there to make the tackle out of New Bethlehem, PA. As we're closing in on the final minute of this one. Four wide receiver set. Hernandez, pump fake. Is up ahead to the 45 to the 46 yard line. Well shy of a first down. Andreas Vallejo there for Westminster. Joe Mansfield as well. And another punting situation. Andres Martinez back deep to return for Westminster. Because I don't think Bethany's going to be in a huge hurry to punt the ball away. Nobody's going to be calling any timeouts anytime soon. Stick around. We'll visit with our player of the game after this one. The kick is away. Martinez makes the catch to the 25, he's to the 30, 35, and then he is dropped across the 35 to the 37 yard line. All it'll take now is one kneel down, and it will be an eighth straight victory for Westminster. Mark, it's been a lot of fun working with you today. Looking forward to a month or so down the road when we're back together for Westminster football. No doubt, it's been a great afternoon. Thank you for having me. And it should be a fun season for Westminster and the fans who came out for the home opener. This one has been all Titans from the start. Eight seconds left. Tyler McGowan. Well, they may not kneel it down. They may just have a short hand off McGowan. He'll keep it himself. There's a penalty flag. Comes flying in. With less than two seconds left. It'll be a hold in all likelihood. Holding. Offense number 82. Ten yard penalty. Remains first down. So with the win, Westminster is going to improve to one and one. Meanwhile, Bethany will drop to one and one. And the clock has expired. And that will do it. So the final score in this one here today, Westminster 42, Bethany 3. Our post-game coverage will commence when we come back. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Len Rome and Jim Boy, 33 WYTV News. Stop in to b and Wholesale Tire and check out our famous custom wall of wheels. We have all the latest styles and we sell all the different brands. And since we want you to love your purchase, we always go the extra mile by showing you what your wheels will look like next to your vehicle all while you wait. Why pick out a tiny picture online that you're not sure what it will look like until the day you install it on your vehicle? We take custom wheel purchases to a whole new level.
it starts with a dream. And then something, someone, or someplace happens. That is the difference between those who dream and those who make it happen. An experience where you are pushed, challenged, knocked down, picked up, encouraged to do better and to be better. Make your dreams happen at Slippery Rock University. Experience the difference. We started about three years ago. I just kind of felt like I needed something to calm me down, mellow me out, so I came here. You feel a lot better, you feel healthier, you feel more productive. I definitely look forward to workouts a lot more than I used to. I feel better every time I leave. And I think it's realistic. You know, they're not anticipating that you're going to lift the world one day. They have individual goals that each person can reach and be proud of themselves for. At Axio Fitness, your experience will be safe, productive, and fun. So come be our next success story. Countdown to kickoff with Fox's Friday Huddle. All the highlights, we bring it to you first at 10.30 on Fox All Youngstown. Kinds of trouble and he is dropped. Plus, we get you ready for the game of the week with Fox's pregame show. Don't miss a minute of the action. Looking to dump it off, does so. Catch is made and a huge hit. Your home for high school football, Fox's Friday Huddle and pregame show. Powering his way in for the touchdown. And welcome back to Westminster College, where Westminster comes away with a dominating 42-3 victory over Bethany. And Westminster has now won eight straight in the head-to-head -head series with the Bison. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back with you. It's now time to select our player of the game. Our player of the game award is brought to you by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing and Teal College. Our player of the game is Westminster senior Ryan Gomes, 194 rushing yards, two touchdowns, and he joins us now. Ryan, congratulations on the win. How great does it feel to get into the win column here in the home opener? Uh, it was pretty good. Um, you know, we started 0-1 last week, so we were just trying to get back on track and do what we do. What was the difference today? Coach talked to us earlier in the week about the need to start fast. How did this team come out here starting fast, building that big lead and never looking back? Well, to be honest, we were just worried about what we had to do. We weren't really about worried about what Bethany was doing. We knew as long as we did what we did, uh, we were going to be all right and come out on top. This offense has so many offensive weapons. It starts with you and the ground attack. You've got a fantastic quarterback. You've got outstanding wide receivers. Tell me how dangerous and potent this offense is and how much fun it is to play in an offense like this. Oh, it's really fun, you know, especially when the O-line gets moving. Shout out to the Vipers. Once the Vipers get rolling, it's easy for everybody else to just do their part and make plays. I know how high the goals have been set for this group. It's a veteran group. It's a group that wants to accomplish a great deal. A conference championship is at the top of your list. How good can this team be and how motivated is this group to make that happen? Um, we're extremely motivated. It starts from the players all the way through the coaches and then our staff. Um, you know, we know we can be really good. We just got to do what we need to do so we can be, make, to, make it to that point. Last thing, assess your performance here today. You scratched and clawed for all that extra yardage, 194 yards, two trips to the end zone. You're the bell cow. You're the workhorse back for this Westminster team. Uh, assess what you did here today and your performance. Like I said earlier, you know, whenever the O-line gets moving, it's easy for me to just read my reads and just get going. So, I mean, I did all right, but shout out to the O-line because they, they paved the way for me. Congratulations on a great win. All the best moving forward the rest of the season. Thank you. That's our player of the game, Westminster senior Ryan Gomes. He finishes with 194 yards on the ground, two trips to the end zone as Westminster comes away with a victory, 42-3 to over Bethany. We'll continue our post-game coverage after this. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Brandon JC's weeknights on 33 WYTV News. At Sheely's, it's our 70th anniversary, and we want to thank our customers by offering $70 off every $1,000 spent when you donate to Akron Children's Hospital. Plus, get 12 months special financing. 
Stack up the savings when you shop for every room in your house. Furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more. And remember, August 29th through September 10th, get $70 off every $1,000 spent, plus 12-month special financing. Sheely's, the best things in life happen at home. We are the bridge builders, the building makers, the highway framers, the people who built America. We are iron workers, and we want you. With careers starting at over $30 an hour, excellent growth opportunities, and healthy retirement and benefits packages. You can be part of the foundation of America's cities, roads, and buildings. Are you iron worker material? Apply for an apprenticeship today. Next day, break the week's going to start off with scattered showers and storms Monday. Nugget checks in at a hotel. What can we take when we leave? Take this advice. Don't miss a daybreak moment starting at 5. Huddle up for Nittany Game Week. Get a sideline seat with coaches Jay Paterno and Tom Bradley as they join host Todd Sadowski for expert analysis on the blue and white. Saturday mornings at 8.30 on MyYTV. Sponsored by the Flynn Auto Group. Start your day different. Wake up with a smile. Wake up with a little fun. I think I got one. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up prepared to conquer your day. Semi truck caught fire just a few hours ago. That's waking up the daybreak way. Time for science. Join Lynn Rome and Jim Lowboy. The best way to start your day. I like the word frolicking too, by the way. Should use that more often. Weekday mornings from 5 to 7 on 33 News Daybreak. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Overcoming obstacles, they persevere and endure, making them our hometown heroes. To nominate someone deserving, go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Heroes under the Community tab. This week's Hometown Hero is out to feed the hungry. See a new hero every Wednesday at 6 on 33 WYTV. Proudly sponsored by Window World and Cavalli Enterprises. And welcome back as we put the finishing touches on a 42-3 victory for Westminster over Bethany with the win. Westminster improves to 1-1. One one. Bethany drops to that same record, 1-1. One and one. It's now time to select tonight's play of the game. It is brought to you by the Hot Dog Shops and Jib Jab, your hometown hot dog in Warren, Gerard, and East Liverpool, and by Valerick Youngstown. More than a great place to work. Is there any bigger play, more exciting play than a pick six? That's just precisely what Farrell product Bryce Butler provided here today, taking this one back in the hardest yard, coming at the tail end, taking it in for the touchdown from 30 yards out, polishing off a Westminster 42-3 to victory. Chad Krispinski, Mark Slazak with you. Mark, your finishing thoughts as a Westminster comes away with a win. Yeah, big Westminster day. They did pretty much everything they wanted to do. They wanted to start fast. They did that. They wanted to protect the ball and minimize the big play. Check, check, check. All those things done. And the players that you hope have the big plays, the Bryce Butlers, the Ryan Gomes, the Cole Konechkas all played their part in a big win today. And they head into next week's action with plenty of confidence. So that's the story from here in New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. We hope you enjoyed this special college presentation of the WKBN Game of the Week. For all of us at WKBN and my broadcast partner Mark Slazak and Kristen McFarland on the sideline, my name is Chad Prispinski telling you once again the final score. Westminster 42, Bethany 3. Till next time, so long everybody.